Hello, my Kakana friends. I know what you're thinking. Miss Sarah, what are you doing outside of the library? Well, I am here to visit one of our other special local places here, the Greedo Mansion. And I'm here to tell you about a cool project that we've been working on at the library for the last few months. So I don't know about you, but I really missed the mansion when it was closed last year. And I'm sure you did too. And I am so excited to tell you that it is now open again for tours. So definitely check out their website and set some time aside to come visit this local treasure. And while you're at it, you can stop by the library and check out our new kit. So I have a kit, it looks like this. Um, it comes in this orange backpack. You may have seen these orange backpacks for some of our other kits before, like the one for the Historical Homes walking tour I put together, or the one for a Thousand Islands. But this one is all about the Greenos. So, what is in this cool kit? We've got this little envelope full of surprises. And inside there are postcards all about the home and the family with some cute pictures of the restorations and so there's some neat things in there to look at and there is a copy of this book which if you haven't read yet you really should called Homestead in Haven and is all about the history of Charles A. Greeno, his family and the home here. There's also a copy of this really fascinating article from the Wisconsin Historical Society called History and Family Values, A Good Wife's Tale, Mary Elizabeth Mead Greeno of Kakana. So it's all about Mary Elizabeth and her life and what her life was like in Pennsylvania before she came to Kakana and then what it was like uh, living on the frontier. So in addition to that, we have my little research project that I did for you. It comes in this little binder that's inside the kit. And inside here, there are maps of the land before Kakana was Kakana. There are pictures of the old Ducharme cabin that was on this land before the mansion was here. It was actually way back up by the trees there. You can kind of see in that picture how far away it was. There's family history in here for Charles and Mary Elizabeth. There's some sad sister history in here too, including history about the Treaty of the Cedars and how that treaty affected the native people on the land, but also resulted in the building of the mansion. There's more about Mary Elizabeth here and their children and further descendants and about when the house started to fall into repair after Charles' death. We almost lost the house. But in the 1940s, there was a renovation thanks to the WPA funds. And then in the 80s, there was another restoration that included a lot of really interesting research that restorationists did in order to restore the house back to how it would have looked authentically in the time that Charles and Mary Elizabeth lived here. Some of the tricks they used, finding little tack holes in the walls to see where pictures had been hung or where carpets had been laid down are really interesting. And they really worked hard to recreate the original textiles and furnishings in the home. So it's a really cool history and you'll definitely want to check that out in person as well. There's also a copy of Wisconsin's first land deed in here. So you can look at that. And there's a brochure for the Greeno Mansion that includes all the details about their tours and website and how to get involved with events and things like that. And then there's a very special treat in here. If you check out this kit through the library, there is a gift certificate for the tours so your family can come and experience it for yourselves. So I want to thank the Greeno Mansion for their partnership in this project. It's been really fun getting to know 
the Green Oak Board and Director Better and working together to bring this project to you. So definitely come down to the library, check out the kit and come visit the mansion and see what all the cool things there are inside about our local history and a really important piece of the state history as well. So I'll see you back at the library or maybe here. I'm here a lot too. So take care everybody. Bye.